Wireless access point versus wireless router will help you distinguish the two different wireless network devices in the following video. So, let's get started. Number 1. What is a wireless router? A router is a network device that can transfer data in a wired or wireless way. As an intelligent device, the router is enabled to direct incoming and outgoing traffic on the network in an efficient way. Traditionally, a router was connected to other LAN devices through Ethernet cables for wired networking. Over time, wireless routers, providing a user-friendly installation without cabling, are increasingly becoming the darling for many homes and small offices. Number 2. What is a wireless access point? A wireless access point, also known as wireless AP or WAP, stands for a networking hardware appliance that adds WIFI capability to the existing wired network by bridging traffic from wireless stations into wired LAN. The wireless AP can act as a standalone device or can be a component of a router. Number 3. Function. In general, most wireless routers combine the functionality of a wireless AP, an Ethernet router, a basic firewall, and a small Ethernet switch. While a wireless access point usually comes as an inbuilt component of devices like routers or WIFI network extenders. In a word, wireless routers can function as access points, but not all access points can work as routers. Unambiguously speaking, a wireless router, playing the role of Ethernet hub, helps in establishing a local area network by linking and managing all the devices connected to it. An access point, however, is a sub-device within the local area network that only provides access to the router's established network. Number 4. Connection and Coverage. Reuters and wireless AP have divergent connection methods. Usually, the wireless router can offer WIFI signals for devices directly, or connect to a PO switch which can add wireless APs to extend the WIFI coverage. Compared with wireless routers, some home wireless AP without routing functions cannot be connected to a modem or gateway, and a WIFI router will be used as an intermediary in such conditions. Sometimes the WIFI signals will be weak and have some dead spots if the wireless router can't reach the expected coverage area. Instead, a wireless access point can be added in locations that have bad network conditions, eliminating dead spots and extending the wireless network. Number 5. Application. Typically, wireless Reuters serve residential homes, Soho working environments, and small offices or organizations, which can effortlessly meet the fixed and moderate access demands. Obviously, this type of router can't scale to reflect the climbing growth in network needs in the predictable future. As for wireless APs, they are mostly used in medium to large enterprises and organizations, more than one wireless AP are involved to support multiple users. Unlike the previous situation, network managers can add additional APs as the demand grows, in order to cover a more extensive physical area. Number 6. How to make a wise choice. Wireless router versus wireless access point, it all depends on your needs. If you just want a wireless network at home to cover your family members' needs, a wireless router is sufficient. But if you want to build a more reliable wireless network that benefits a large number of users, a wireless access point is more appropriate then. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe our channel.